You know, in the world, we have 125,000 children who die every year because of poor safety of food. The majority of these children are based in low and middle income settings, particularly in Africa, where about a third of children are currently stunted, and also in South Asia, where another third of the children in that region are stunted. Just raising more awareness around the numbers of children who are experiencing disability. For instance, in 2016, it was estimated that 15 million children have uh, disability, and 95% of these children are, low, I mean, are in low and middle income countries. I highlighted some of the challenges they're facing, such as premature mortality and developmental problems, but also focused a lot on how can we empower families and communities. What the World Bank now calls learning poverty, which is that children may be going to school but they are actually not learning at the levels that are required to make them truly the productive citizens that can contribute to sustainable societies when they are adults. This conference uh, is important because it uh, tells us that this is not just a health issue. It's a development, a global development issue. We cannot um, think of nutrition and early stimulation programs as separate. Being able to use this conference as a mechanism to further mobilize responses, especially political action, to deal, to tackle upfront the issue of nutrition it's a very important goal for us. When the child is young, would need education in the form of stimulation and learning opportunities. And when the child is in the school, the child still needs health. And the nutrition is a cross-cutting thing throughout that period of the child. One department, one sector cannot sort it. So the public-private sector needs to come together the academia, the NGOs, all have to chip in, and most importantly, the communities need to be engaged. We want to build capacity. Part of what we should be about is making sure that we have the next generation of professionals who are working in their own environments because they understand the environment better. We can be advocates. We have to work together in all these different areas. And we need our champions, global champions, and local champions, so let's engage them and work with them. Now we'll be judged in terms of the impact that it has on thinking, and that's very much in the hands of the participants and civic society at large, so I would encourage anybody who listens to this or has an opportunity to look at the proceedings of this particular conference is to get engaged and become part of the solution 